Oh shit, I didn't have anything fucking ready. Why did I stop recording? Fuck. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Metalhead Reacts. Now, I know I haven't done a few videos in a while. I've been pretty fucking slack, let's be honest, but work's been fucking mental. New Year's, Christmas, all that shit. You know the deal. Anyway, today we have a song by, and I don't know how to say this, Camera Nazi? Cam Camero Nazi? Uh, live Life, Give None. Cool name. Um, didn't actually have many views on YouTube. I was quite surprised. So we're going underground, which is cool. So uh, the stuff that you guys have been sending me that's been, um, what I feel is like that underground vibe has been fucking sick. So I'm excited to see what comes out. Um, this one was recommended by Harrison Plot. Thank you, bro. And um, from what I can tell of this guy, he is just on SoundCloud. Correct me if I'm wrong, if you guys, he's not, and he's actually signed. But from what I could just tell from what the YouTube clip said was he's on SoundCloud and he's self-produced. That was basically all the information I could get without digging too far in and revealing too much about the guy. All right. Let's fucking, uh, let's fucking do this. Whoa, okay. Like anti-KKK stuff? Is this the South? And sort of, or anti-religion. But it seems very KKK with the fire burning, stick and all that. Oh, bad religion. Yeah. Alright, so far, the video is cool in the music. Not so much the writing, the production value. That's quite cool what he's doing with his voice there though, that's cool. Very repetitive. Like I'm getting a little bit of that Zilla Kami sauce Moolah vibe, like that aggression from this whole thing, but it's just not delivering in the same fucking way. Like, their shit was... The, the video matched how fucked up, like, they were... Yeah, like, yeah, the music matched the video, like, really fucking... Well... I guess that's not bad. If he's basically trying to... Hey, get that vibe, that's not bad. Wait, was that the end? Dude, that was way too short. I thought it was gonna go somewhere else. Ah, oh, fuck. Man, that was way too short. Now, the production value there, that one's a bit of a funny one for me because the voice he did was cool. The beat wasn't bad, that was all right. Um, to be fair, same with Sauce Miller, Zilakami. I just, I, I couldn't understand what he was saying, so I had no idea with the lyrics there. I couldn't comment on that. But the production value of the music, um, the mastering EQ, everything was a bit out. So I don't know if that was just a home job and he's done it himself. And that, because it sits somewhere in between like a, uh, like a EP style. Actually, maybe even a, even a bit better. But it's definitely not professional level. So if he's doing it at home by himself... Fucking not bad, bro. Not bad. Um, if that's a professional level, go to another studio, bro. That was pretty shit. But yeah, ah, uh, no, I am ah. Mm. I'm gonna have to give one a thumbs down, bro. I've got to say, kid had potential, but it was as I said before, everything so like I got that. So smaller. What the fuck? Bro, why'd you stop camera? Sort your shit out. Yeah, as I was saying before, my camera decided to be a douchebag. 
um, that Zilakami soft smaller vibe like massively, but it just didn't deliver the same way those guys could. Like those guys really delivered with that style. It was just it just lacked a little bit. So yeah, thumbs down. Thank you for the recommendation though, Harrison. Thank you again. And uh, guys, give me more shit to react to. It doesn't have to be rap. Give me some fucking. Oh god, it's like I'm waiting for the first person to put up a really crap pop song, and I'm just gonna rip that fucking shit apart. Because I fucking hate pop. Alright, till next time. Rock on, motherfuckers.